Runway has just released a new way to transform your videos with AI. It is called Runway Alab. Just take a look at this. Now with Roma Alab, you can do a number of different things. For example, you can add in VFX to your videos. You can change the weather so you can make it go from sunny to raining. Or what about removing any objects from your videos, making yourself look younger, or you can even ask the AI to predict the next shot in your scene. Now there are so many different things that you can do with this tool and I've already spent a ton of different credits trying to test it out. So I will show you exactly how you can use this, how to prompt it, and also how you can save yourself some money because it is very expensive. If you wanna try it out, I will leave the link in the description down below. And now let's dive in. So the first thing I wanna show you is this prompting guide by Runway. I will also link this in the description down below. This is super useful to foreseeing what's possible and what they've prompted. Now, adding VFX to your shots is quite cool. So I've got this video of myself right here and let's actually put it inside a runway and let's see what we get. So we're starting off with the prompt, add fire that swirls around his palms and climbs up his wrists. So we got this video. I mean, this looks quite cool, but I think we can do a little bit better. So let's change up the prompt a little bit. And now we got add fire that slowly begins forming in his hands and builds up over time. And that gave me this result. Now I think this is a lot cooler. So that is just one of the things you can do in terms of VFX, but I will show you a lot more examples throughout this video. Next up, they're claiming that you can change the weather. And I was honestly quite skeptical about this because like, look at how good this looks. Like this guy driving in the snow, in the rain. So I have this video of this girl that is walking in the rain. And let's see how it works if we put a prompt, add in rain. So on the left, we have the original, which is her just walking. And now on the right side, we have her walking walking in the rain and we even see like puddles on the road which we didn't have on the video on the left side so honestly this is quite cool and the in terms of the video quality it remains the same i just wish there was a bit more rain at the end of the scene it, it feels like it's stopping to rain now i've tried this a few times i'm just gonna be honest with you like this other example where i said like adding pouring heavy rain to the scene with dark clouds that just doesn't work then I tried it again. I don't know what went wrong here, but it didn't didn't quite work. Then here I changed the season to winter. And now we have it snowing. So it feels like her character or her hair color has changed up a little bit. But overall, this is quite impressive how good it looks with the snow. Now, another thing that stood out to me was to control motion using a dot on your screen. Just take a look at this thing with the dinosaur. They have like a blue dot on the screen. They're making the dinosaur follow it. So I wanted to test that if that actually worked. So I got this video of a cat right here that is having a blue dot on the screen. The cat itself is like a image. So we just have the blue dot. And now I'm giving it the exact same prompt. So the cat follows the blue dot with its nose and remove the blue dot. Honestly, this just doesn't seem to work. It does remove the blue dot, which is quite cool. But no matter how many times I try it, like we don't get a good result. Like the only thing that happens here is that he moves his head to the side, but it didn't quite follow the blue dot, no matter how many times I try this. The next cool feature that I want to share with you is changing the camera angles. Now this is insane for if you want to have a different perspective of your scene. I have this video right here of a boy that is reading a book with light coming out of it. Now I want to to change the camera angle so i've uploaded this video right here and i gave the prompt change the camera angle to a low side shot showing the child's face in profile lit by the glow of the book with the bed stretching into the background so now that gave me this result right here Honestly, it's quite good. It's it's impressive that it maintains somewhat of a consistency in the bed frame. Like you can see the bed frame over here on this side looks consistent, but it messed up on this side if we're really specific. But it's impressive that it can think of its own like what's there to put just based on this video that it has. So here I'm putting in a different prompt where I ask it to basically give an over the shoulder shot of the child. So that gave me this video. 
honestly, this technology is getting kind of impressive. I'm very curious to see what this will look like in like one or two years from now. Now you can do the same with animation type shots. For example, I got this video right here of this dude feeding some fishes. And now I changed the camera angle to be a top view camera. So the fish don't really go for the food like you've seen in the previous scene. But at least it did keep consistent at having three fishes in the video. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad, but I wouldn't use this yet. Okay, another cool thing I can do is predicting the next shot in your sequence. So I found this prompt through Runway and I just had to test this out. So you can predict and visualize the next shot in the sequence. Now I have this video, just a kid holding a balloon. And I'm very curious what Runway will do with this. Now with this, I'm getting kind of mixed results because for example here, we just have the zoomed in video of this guy and nothing different happening than we already seen in the original video. Then on this video, he already had let go of the balloon and then the camera is following the balloon. Now, what I would do is just type in what you want to have happen. You need to give it instructions and it will do its best to follow those instructions. So if you don't know what you want to expect, then you also don't know what you're gonna get. If you wanna relight your footage, then this next feature is perfect for you because what you can do is you can take your original video and you can change the lighting of that video. For example, you can turn night to day, you can change the lighting. Let me just show you how it works. So I got this video right here of a guy sitting at a cafe yeah he's just staring into your soul so now i prompted it to add in a warm lamp that is like sitting next to his head so we got this result it's a bit different it doesn't look too realistic but if you want to change the lighting then this can work now try this a few more times so here we have a totally different bold style look with a bit more dramatic lights then I tried again making it a bit darker, more sinister. I think this looks quite cool. Try this a few more times with like moody cinematic lights. And honestly, you can get some quite good results. Just take a look at all of these. Like changing the light can do a lot for your video. And did you know that you can even change your age using Runway? You just do that by entering in a video of someone. Uh, for example, I got this old lady over here and you can just prompt her, like make this woman look like 23 years old. If we take a look at them side by side, then you can see that some of the details are still intact. She doesn't look quite like 23 years old, more like 28 to 30, but it somewhat works. It depends on what type of video you have. You can even change objects or people by prompting it. So I got this video of this young lady taking a sip of her cup of coffee. Now let's change the cup of coffee into a frozen ice cup and there's even mist coming out of it. So if we take a look at them side by side, then you can see how good it is in terms of consistency of the original video, but it has changed that object into an ice cup. You cannot make this too complex because I tried this with a purple potion and honestly, it, it just didn't work. Work. like no matter what I tried uh, this is what I got she's still holding on to that invisible cup of coffee but yeah it just doesn't work so keep the item somewhat similar so let me show you what I mean by that I got this guy with a basketball now the ball is easy to change into something else so here if I try to change this into a glass ball so that's literally my prompt change the ball into a glass ball then we got this perfectly working result so if your item is totally different from the original item, then it has a hard time changing that item into what you want. But a basketball to a glass ball is pretty easy for the AI. You can also recolor, remove, or change the background. So what I mean by that is I have this video of this lovely lady posing and what I can do is I can like recolor her dress for example. I can literally ask it turn this red dress into an emerald green dress and boom we got a video like this. Now we still got that car behind her and I kind of want it to be removed. So now let's ask Runway to remove the car in the background. And boom, we have a new scene with just her posing without the car in the background. Lastly, if I want to have the entire background removed, then I can even ask it to change the current background into a green screen. And even with that emerald dress, this still works.
Now, honestly, I find this quite exciting for anyone in the field of video creation that you can just prompt it and change a scene. That doesn't mean that you need to stop filming with camera completely. I would say if you use a camera and you want to have different scenes, if you want to have something removed, try using an AI. It might be the cheapest option instead of reshooting that entire scene. In terms of quality, I'm expecting this only to get better in the upcoming years. The only downside is right now it might take you a few tries like for example i spent about 70 dollars in terms of credits for all the examples that i made now i already used the pro plan for runway and i already paid like 40 bucks in extra credits just to test it out and have some fun with it so if you're using this and you're on a budget then no it isn't that cheap but on the other hand it's something unique and a one-of-a-kind to try out now if you're interested in learning more about ai vfx then click the video that's on the screen right now where i walk you through how to use Higgsfield AI and show you how you can make all kind of cool AI VFX videos with that.